Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Here we are, the 1st of November. Halloween is gone, it's past. Where did the season go? We have just 30 days left in our the Fisherman Magazine's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Your chance to win a grand prize, an awesome 23-foot Steigercraft boat complete with an Evinrude E-Tech G2 250 uh, outboard motor, Lawrence Electronics, angle cooler, a fish mount for global fish mounts, yielding a total retail value of over $86,000. Plus there's other prizes, categories to win. In fact, we award a total of over $109,000 in prizes in the Dream Boat Fishing Challenge this year. Be sure to check out thefisherman.com for complete details. All right, that's enough of that. We are past uh, Halloween now on to, ooh, right around the corner is gonna be Thanksgiving. But first up, we're gonna move on to the reports this week where black fishing bounced right back. After the weekend's nor'easter with very good reports coming in from Buzzards Bay all the way down to Western Long Island Sound. Got word from fisherman subscriber Ray Cook. He was fishing off Westbrook, Connecticut on Tuesday when he nailed a nice nine and a half pound tog. I've been getting words of a uh, much better mix of keepers to shorts as uh, is expected with these quickly dropping water temperatures that we've had, especially with all that wind that really helps to cool down the water temps. We got those cool overnights, so it is doing everything to speed up the fishing on the blackfish side, but unfortunately that also comes with the end of the season. Nonetheless, uh, let's see, David Dowling logged a solid dreamboat tog this week. New England entry coming in at a hefty 10.75 pounds. Puts him currently in third place in the blackfish division, but again, there is plenty of time. We got 30 more days in this year's dreamboat challenge, and as of time that I'm shooting this video, we actually still have one open slot, and the smallest fish entered right now is a solid seven pounder, so there's plenty of time to get on the board. Let's see, moving on up to the Cape. Let's check in with Simeon Watson at the Goose Hummock Shop for a look at what is biting up on Cape Cod right now. Thanks, Toby. Now here's a little bit on what's going on with the fishing down here in Cape Cod. Things are slowing down a little bit, but we're still getting some smaller bass off of the beaches and uh, in some of the estuaries. Most of the bluefish are gone. You may find a straggler here or there. Um, the ones that are around have gotten a little bit smaller, so they're really nice table fare. Tog fishing's doing pretty well this fall so far. Try down uh, Buzzards Bay, uh, Nantucket Sound, or any good piece of structure. Also, as you know, the commercial tune is closed now until December 1st, but they're still picking away at some footballs. The freshwater fishing's been on fire the past couple of weeks here. They've stocked all the ponds with trout. We're catching some nice brown trout, some nice rainbows, and the largemouth bass fishing has really started to take off. The school is just starting to heat up as well. So get out there, enjoy our local waters, and have a great day. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, Simeon. And uh, last but not least, we are full on into that run of small schoolie striped bass in the surf across New England. I was able to take my son out over the weekend and get in on some of the action in the protected backwater spot that had very small bass and some hickory shad seeking shelter from the big surf from the nor'easter out front. He landed several small stripers and even a little hickory shad, a solid score on a trout rod. Let's take a look at some of the action we had. What is it? Shatter or stripe bass. You doing good? You having fun? Oh, it's a big striper. All right. All right. All right, cool. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, a couple of days after I took him out, I uh, took a quick run out to scout the surf conditions to see what had happened after the storm and take a, t a few test casts on a brand new reel that I was sent, the uh, Tsunami Salt X. It was my first time giving it a shot. Wanted to take a few casts during the day, see how it was, and absolutely worked out excellent great little reel hitting the market very soon but what was planned to be a short maybe I don't know 10 15 minute outing turned into several hours of landing striped bass after striped bass uh, I I landed 40 50 fish before I finally gave it uh, you know called it a day really the only downside um, of the fishing was that they were all sub 24 inch fish but it was a blast uh, throwing a bucktail jig little five inch yo Zuri hydro pencil 
And as you can see in this short little video clip, I was having just as much fun teasing the fish as I was in catching them, keeping that pencil popper away from the fish, giggling away like a little school kid, but it was a ton of fun. Now when the small bass fill the surf like they are right now across our area, I've said it before, but I always strongly urge the use of single hook offerings. Now this could be, <clears throat> excuse me, bucktail jigs, shad bodies, a uh, great option. Um, but if you want to throw swimming plugs or poppers, you know, for instance, I've got right here Yozuri Hydro Minnow, which I was throwing last night and did well. And in the video, a lot of the fish that I got were on the um, Yozuri Hydro Pencil. What I'll do is I'll replace those treble hooks with a simple single hook. You can see right here, uh, for a lot of reasons, um, it, it, it causes less damage to the fish, less hook points to get stuck in your hands and your body. There are far easier to unhook than a treble hook and in the end they actually hold better on the fish than standard treble hooks will. So again if you don't want to throw a little bucktail jig, if you're, you're dead set on throwing top water swimmers and so on like these from Yo Zuri which are great options when the fish are blitzing like peanut bunker like they had yesterday, or excuse me, earlier this week, uh, it is a great option to try. All right, well, there you have it. I am Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of The Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines and head out onto the water this weekend.